Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be reviewing the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, trying to determine if three triangle measurements that are given would form a right triangle. So the converse of a statement would switch the if and then in a statement. So Pythagorean theorem states that if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. So the converse of that would be if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared would equal c squared. So we're going to try to jump into some examples of applying the converse. So if the given measures are 5, 12, and 13, would the triangle be a right triangle? So we're going to test this, plug these numbers into Pythagorean theorem and test this and see if it works. So we're going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Recall that the largest number has to equal c because the hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle and c is the variable we use to represent that number. So we would do 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Go ahead and square those numbers. So we get 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared is 144 equals 13 squared is 169. And when you add 25 and 144, uh, excuse me, you get 169, which is equal to 13 squared. So because this statement is true, we can say that a 5, 12, 13 is a right triangle because when I substitute those values into Pythagorean theorem, it is a true statement, okay? Let's take a look at a given triangle. Is this a right triangle? So notice that the angle is not marked 90 degrees, so we can't assume that it's a right triangle. So let's plug these numbers into Pythagorean theorem, keeping in mind that 15 is the largest number, so it has to go in for C. So we would do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 7 squared plus 8 squared equals 15 squared. 7 squared is 49, and 8 squared is 64. And we're trying to see if that's equal to 15 squared, which is 225. So 49 plus 64 is going to give us 113, and that does not equal to 25. So does this equal a right triangle? It actually does not even equal a triangle because I believe that the sum of the two smaller sides has to be greater than the third side. So this wouldn't even make a triangle based on the triangle inequality theorem, but we're not testing that right now. We're just trying to see if this would be a right triangle. So I'm going to say that is not a right triangle. So a 7, 8, 15 is not a right triangle triangle because a squared plus b squared, the sum of the two smaller legs does not equal the, sum, the square of the hypotenuse. 